Hey there everyone. Welcome to the Dolphin Testnet. This has been a project that we've been working on for a while now and we're glad that we can finally release it to the public to start beta testing. Dolphin Testnet is our testnet for our private transaction service which will be launched on Manta Network which is on Polkadot and Calamari Network which is on Kusama. And these products are using zero-knowledge proofs in order to keep transactions private on-chain. So today I'm going to show you how to use Dolphin Testnet so that you can get started to try out these products. So before we begin with Dolphin Testnet, we need to first download the Manta Signer. The Manta Signer is what we use to generate the zero-knowledge proofs locally which means that none of the transactions ever go through the internet, which makes it fully private. So to do that, we go into the GitHub, which the link is at the bottom of this video. And from there, we click on um, the DMG file. Now note that right now, the Manta Signer is available for Mac OS, and within the next week, we'll be releasing it for Windows and Ubuntu as well. All right, so once it's downloaded, just click it to open up the signer and then just um, and then just drag it into applications. Perfect. Then we can just open it up. Now you may get an application message like this one where it says it cannot be open because the developer cannot be verified. If you do get this message, just go ahead and click Cancel, go into your System Preferences, go into Security and Privacy from here, and over here, Allow Apps Downloaded From, click Open Anyway. Open. All right, and once you're in the signer, it will either ask you to create a password or just sign in. Because I've already created an account, I can just sign in. Once everything's set up, then you should be able to see the Manta Signer above on your taskbar. What you want to do first is go to app.dolphin.manta.network, and you'll land on a page that looks exactly like this. Right? It might be the light version or it might be the dark version. Now, what you want to do is first go into Receive, because we want to fill up your uh, wallet address, because this is a testnet, so we have to get you some tokens from testnet first. Make sure that your wallet is connected to the app, and once you do that, you should get a wallet address that you can use. So just copy this wallet address, go into the Manta Network community channel. If you're not already there, then we have a link in the description of this video, which is exactly where you can go to try it out. Once you come into the channel, go all the way down within the category of general to Dol Dolphin Faucet. And within Dolphin Faucet, you can enter a command with typing in slash first. And then what you want to do is use give me doll. And from here, it'll say give me doll address and then just paste in your address. For myself, it's not going to work because I've already recently requested a transaction. So it returns and says this address recently got some tokens. After a certain period of time, uh, you'll be able to ask for more tokens. But you know, just to keep it uh, as simple as possible, we try to limit the amount of tokens that people can request on testnet um, while it's live. And so the reason why I need Dolphin first, Dol, uh, which is the um, token ticker for Dolphin, is because Dolphin is the uh, testnet and Dol is the currency that runs on the testnet, so all gas fees must be paid in Dol. So make sure you get some doll first. And then once you get that, you can type in other commands like maybe uh, give me ETH and then paste in the same address. And it'll give you some testnet ETH. All right, let's see what I can do for you. So if I go back here and I go through all my different tokens, I can go into testnet ETH. And when I say send, once the transaction comes through, then I'll have some testnet ETH in this wallet address as well. And so what I'll do first is I want to um, go back into my public transactions and I have 1,938 dot. Now that's public dot, which means that anyone can see my transactions. 
And so I want to privatize this dot. What I do is go into the section that says to private, and then I say how much dot I want to privatize, maybe 200, and I click deposit. Now a signer comes up, and I sign the transaction, and it begins to process. Okay, perfect, so now the deposit is successful. So if I go into my private setting, where all my transactions are private, and I click send, I see that I have a bunch of private dot. Now this is different from my public dot because the private dot actually has the balance of all of my dot that has been privatized. The public dot only has the balance that's still public. So within private, I want to transact um, an amount of private dot to someone else. But it doesn't actually have to be someone else. I can just test it out with myself right now. So in, under the receive, I just generate a new address and I can copy that address and I'll just send it to myself. I'll send 150 dot and I click on send. This is where the Manta signer comes in. So here I type in my password that I just created and I click authorize. And now the process begins, well, processing. Okay. And once the zero knowledge proof is generated, I click sign the transaction. Okay, and so now the transfer is successful. So I've officially transferred 150 dot to myself privately. And so what you see here is that the amount doesn't change because I've actually transferred it to myself privately. But if you tried this out with another wallet address, if you sent it to a different receiver, if you sent it to a friend, then you would see this amount change. At any time, your private assets, let's say, for example, my 8,156 private dot, if I want to bring it back to public dot at some point, I can just click on to public and say, I will make 1,000 dot public and click withdraw. This will prompt another password, authorize, and this will process that request. So as it's processing, you'll see you won't be able to really click anything. All right, sign the transaction. Okay, you see if the amount just changed. So that private dot was changed back into public dot. So the new balance is 7,156 private dot. And we can see that the withdrawal was successful. So in public, we see now we have 2,738 public dot again. So this is how Dolphin Testnet works. Please try it out for yourself. Uh, let us know if you have any questions and provide us any feedback. We're open and we are listening in our Telegram and Discord communities. This is version one of Dolphin Testnet. Uh, version two, uh, the, the main difference that we're implementing apart from implementing uh, Windows and Ubuntu signers is pre uh, providing permanent uh, receive addresses. As you noticed, every time I create a receive address, it generates a new address for me. So these are temporary burner addresses for now. Uh, for the next version of Dolphin Testnet, there will no, be no need to generate a new address. You will just be given a permanent address, which corresponds to your public address. Thank you very much. And like I mentioned, if you have any questions, thoughts, just uh, ping them in our communities. Hope to see you soon, and thank you for trying out Dolphin Testnet.